This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Finance Research coming to you for an article for parents and young parents or anybody who decided to be a parent. Uh, came across this particular website, thebaddaddy.com. Thought it was a joke a little bit, but this article was so intriguing. I thought it'd be worth putting it on the channel because it's, it goes along with my theme of just to think differently and, and to do things differently because we live in information age where information is readily available so you can make different choices and not do the same things that were done in the past that didn't work, only had a short runway in terms of giving any traction or working in the past. But what was working in the past is just needs to be changed. Anyway, I'm going to put this link in the description. Uh, Bad Daddy Question Authority, Unconventional Wisdom for Free Thinking Parents and Coming Soon for Better Bedtime Stories. If you have any children, I do. Um, group Think Money and Madness, The Green Dream, Crash Landings, and Why to Teach Your Kids About Finance as Soon as Possible. Again, the title especially rang to me I have, as I have girls reaching teenagers and um, thinking about what their future is going to be like and why uh, it's so important that parents and people just think logically and look at the, the information if it was available. So let's go back to this article, kind of diverse a little bit. Oh, that's not the right word. Kind of got off track a little bit, but let me dive right in. The Green Dream Crash Lands and Why to Teach Your Kid About Finance as Soon as Possible. The world has gone mad. Like Bill Murray and Ground Day Hall, Ground, Groundhog Day, we make wake up each morning to more of the same. You open your news feed only to choke on your breakfast. It is the New York Times or The Onion. The problem is not that it's fake news. The problem is that it's real. That's well said. Julie's Jesse Smollett hires thugs to stage a hate crime against himself. Phony lynchings now a tactical for social and political change. Gross you ponder, gr gross you ponder, swallowing just to keep your bagel from coming up. Meanwhile, Trump, you're fired, declares a national emergency to scare billions to spend on a border wall. While its budget hit is more than a trillion underfunded, that's 12 zeros, over a trillion to print or borrow every year, and that's still not enough. Are we in medieval times? If we're going to build a wall, can we put catapults on it? How about a moat and piranhas? Attention, plebes. Giant turkey legs will be served inside the wall at noon. The gladiators fight at 2 p.m. echoes President Trump off his new wall. I wish they would finish the nationwide intercom system so I know where to be and what to think at all times. Finally, it'll be just like elementary school. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, God bless her soul, just chased Beth Bezos in the new Amazon headquarters out of New York. Well said. Goodbye, 25,000 well paying jobs, state of the art construction, a tech incubator, 10 billion in tax revenue, and much more in private spending. Her problem? Completing development in her area with poverty rates and medium incomes disadvantaged by 20% or more. The city promised tax credits small in comparison. Win-win, right? Not for, not for Alexandria Otanik Perez and her comrades. Amazon, no soup for you. <laughs> that's a, a little dated. If you watch Seinfeld, that's what's uh, being referenced to that. Confused? AOC wants to spend the tax breaks that no longer exist on raises for teachers and subway repairs. Um, there's no money anywhere, Alexandria. Tax breaks imply taxes imply development. No development, no taxes, no breaks. And New York City, no soup for you. So again, this is why the conversation needs to be about financial information and understanding where how money is actually done. A bunch of politicians and just people out there in general doesn't really have a full grasp of what the times we live in, even though we have the information so readily available. So again, that's why I really love this article, and I'm going to put the link inside the description. The new Green Deal, have you seen it? It's astounding. I've half a bag, I have a, have had half a bagel to shoot it from each nostril like ninja stars when I saw that saw that fairy tale. Uh, in her defense, it's just young, she's trying to, you know, do something different, and they're just progressing things. They just don't understand how economics work, and, and if they had a bit of basis of that, maybe, maybe with time she'd be able to see little things a little differently how this is going to economically pay for but at least she's trying to interject something <laughs> on her own is that a congressional bill or letter to santa claus dear santa this year i like jobs housing and the college pay for all gasoline engines off the roads and the flight of man to cease send us across the atlantic on trains from now on well i've been a good boy too to hell with trains it's unicorns will ride unicorns or bus unleash the gladiators 
<laughs> Not really dreams of 20 odd you know, saving the world, the GND is widely endorsed by the Democratic frontrunners of 2020, your next president. They plan to pay for it with newly issued money from the Federal Reserve. That's not speculation. They're actually going to print it in the FAQ. No one even tried to dress it up. We're going to print it up. That's all we do. We'll print enough money to give everyone a unicorn that runs on clean energy. Ding dong, that uneasy feeling you have. I know where it comes from. You're so used to you hardly notice like pain from losing a loved one that numbs itself away after 10 years. It's not your brain, but your gut flashing danger. And this is where it really becomes more serious. With the object of printing money at this particular place, essentially someone's going to have to pay for it. And even with all the quantitative and screams and all these other things that they do to not bring the debt forward or keep the interest rates low, eventually, eventually it comes due. There's nothing for free, especially in a finite planet. And you can do is trickery and schemes, and that's where we're at this event now. That's why I probably is saying this article. We have to think differently and stop. Even if you want to do progress plans, you got to come with an, an economic ways of how to do it. Printing money is not an adage to do that. They've done this before. Right now in Venezuela, they're printing. <laughs> the inflation rate goes up dramatically. The only reason why we have been able to print so much money, continue taking on massive debts when no one seems to care, is because the United States is the reserve currency, and it's it's the best case and the bad case of town. So that's that's just. But eventually, and I say this eventually, all all bad things will come in, all good things will come in because people think it's good that you continue printing money like this. You have to pay the debt service, and each generation is taking more than it could ever amass. Never find out ways to pay. How can we so clever in every area except governance? It's like we've had the collective wisdom of a toilet full of vomit. The cream cheese coming back up through your nose. That is your cue. That's the bell they ring at the top. The top is now for this rickety, wobbly, malformed, distorted paper money system. The next Jenga block to come out, the green gene or universal basic income will be the last. Why don't we elect leaders who learn from history? I never understand it. It must be the some kind of innate human flaw like the way dogs can't see color the cause for this madness is group think it's on tv and social media the pundits are talking about it so it must be okay right surely they did the research unfortunately no and that's where we are the feeling in your gut that bagel in your nose they know better they don't know better the path forward trump aoc and the political class they are drunk to the point of delusion mostly on their own self-importance the emperor has no clothes. Go ahead and say it. Money is the social contract. We cannot print, borrow, print, and spend, picking winners and losers without fraying our, our own only cohesiveness. The world is headed for a rude awakening. The road will be bumpy. That much we know. Put on your oxygen mask first, then tend to loved ones. They'll need masks and helmets too. Emotional resilience and better information. But life is lived between the ears and we won't let it get us down. We see it coming and we'll try to appreciate the irony and cry. In crisis lies opportunity. In crisis lies opportunity and we won't let our children fall victim to the herd behavior. We teach them first to question authority, to question everything. And I can't say this enough. We teach them first to question authority and to question everything. Those children who grasp finance and history, who learn early, stand to lose least and gain most. In case the unicorns don't arrive. Next month, we release the Ultimate Parents Guide to Money Saving and Investing. Ten steps to show your children are wealthy tomorrow. It goes on that. But even though there's a lot of gesture here and jokes, there was a lot of truth in what's being said. That's why I really like the article. Because it points out, we, if you're not thinking about yourself, you're thinking about your kids next year. You got to live in a world where you created this madness. And this has to be paid for. Eventually, we are going to have a correction, but I hope this correction is not, and it's not going to be as small as 2008, which changed a lot of my life. It's going to be pretty big. If this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments, and I can't stress you enough, think differently. We're in the information age. Just don't brass off information. Take your time. Think independently, and don't get the group thought. Until my next video, I'm out.